Bethany, Bethany, and Sean, and Sean. We are a couple of nuts talking. What's going on, nuts? How do you like that? I think we did it once before where we had the theme song play first and not cut in the middle. How do you like them apples? That's good. That's kind of mixing it up a little bit. Yeah. Gives us a little breather in the beginning. Yeah. Apples are interesting. Wait, what? I don't know. I said, how about them apples? And then I thought about apples and how- Where the hell did that saying come from? What did I say again? How about them apples? How about- I'm going to look it up. I'll look it up. Okay. How about them apples? How about them apples? Let's see. What's up, nuts, baby? You can put all the handles. Tell them what to do and follow us and all that. Okay, um, guys, follow us and like us and okay. subscribe to us on Acon. Honey, <laughs> what is going on, on with you? On a couple of nuts Instagrams, a couple of nuts TikTok, couple of nuts. Oh, there's a whole Reddit on this. The origin of how do you like them apples? The expression, how do you like them apples, is often used as a way to mock or tease someone after gaining some kind of victory over them or after they receive surprising information. So the surprise was we went right into the theme song, so I said, how about them apples? Yeah. Numerous online sources suggest the expression comes from World War I. Damn. The, the word apple was a nickname for certain grenades and mortars and were used in trench warfare at the time. For instance, there was a two-inch medium trench mortar that was nicknamed Toffee Apple because it looked Gosh. like an apple on a stick. Okay, okay why did they even... Why would they put toffee on it and stuff then? But why? then the Reddit thing goes on to say, however, according to the early sports and pop culture history blog, the expression was used before the First World War, dating back to at least the year 1895. For example, it appears in the newspaper The Eagle, September 26th. Brian is the best cotton market in this section of the state and has received more cotton than any other town in this what section. What's happening right How now? do you like them apples? Okay, that's stupid. That's not the what way we use it. What is happening? No. Uh, what? People are Dumb. Okay, that's stupid. It's like when you read anything on Wikipedia, you're like, how many people have redone this well, to that's where Reddit. none of this is true anymore? Reddit is just people talking. Yeah, like, it's not that. It's just, how do you like them apples? 1883, but, tongue-in-cheek taunt. How do you like them apples? How do you like them apples? How do you like them apples? Yeah. You know? But I Could was just, British people even eat apples with those fucking nasty-ass teeth? <laughs> <laughs> See what I did there? See what I said about the Brits, babe? Their teeth are disgusting and weak. How would they be able to eat apples? Are you talking back in the 1800s or now? 1800s. Oh, okay, yeah. That's fine. You can say that. Yeah. Because they were using, like, wooden teeth. You know, they used to put pearls in their teeth. Wooden teeth, I would understand. Wooden that, teeth that would be able to withstand. That you could eat a fucking steak Yeah. With that. Well. What? Could eat a, like, like a wooden steak? Yeah, like a wooden steak okay. you put in a vampire. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that was going on back then, too. They were fucking piercing Just vampires, piercing arson vampires, shit. Vampires, left and right. You know that was going on back then. Honey, I'm learning about all this stuff. There is still vampires oh out here. Oh, my you God. You think Twilight is a little teen movie? Absolutely not. One of my favorite, uh, what are those called? Uh, vampires. Franchises, franchises, mm -hmm. franchises. I do love the Twilight saga. I know you do. You're the one who, okay. Before we did a thing Sean, on it. Yeah, but before we ever met, I never once watched any, I never watched a Harry Potter. Probably another and I never reason watched, why you thought I was gay. Yeah, and the, the Twilight, Twilight you did, and you talked about it. Was it prevalent back then? Like, did it come out then or something? No, no, oh. not at all. But that and Harry Potter and, like, you just liked a lot of weird Maybe, may, actually, maybe the last one might have come out. Because they were glittery. Kind of around when we first met. Um, and I was like, there should be nothing about vampires and glitter. Like, that does not, that's like a Mariah Carey movie gone wrong. Or Breaking Dawn Part 2. The no, that was 2011 and 2012, so it had already been out for a little while. But we did a whole Chuck It or Fuck It on it, which is a segment we used to do on this Couple of Nuts talking podcast. Go back uh, into the history well, of us. maybe we should Chuck It or Fuck It Fall Guy. We just watched it. Hey. Should yeah. we do a Chuck It or Fuck It? Yeah, we have a Here we go. So Gonna insert the Chuck It or Fuck It theme song. Let's go. Chuck It or Fuck It. Chuck It or Fuck It. 
Chuck it or fuck it, review time. Uh, chuck it or fuck it, chuck it or fuck uh, it, chuck it or fuck it, review time. Review time. Me likey. Or don't like. Me likey or don't likey. Yeah. That's chuck it or fuck it. So with chuck it or fuck it, we just talk about stuff. It's basically the same exact thing that we do all the time, but we gave it a, this part of it a theme song, and it's in regards to stuff that we either like or or we don't like right. it. Right, so we either chuck it if we hate it, or we fuck it yeah. if we like it. And I think the last couple of times we did it was shows and movies, so we're going to yeah, keep Yeah, but we could do thing. it on anything. We, I mean, it's just our opinion on whatever it is we want. We do it on apples. On. We could do a chuck it or fuck it since you started talking about apples. We could do a chuck it or fuck it on apples. Let's start on apples and then go to Fall Guy. Okay. Chuck it or fuck it. Honey crisp apples. That was the one that, that you just had, the real big one? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. So it would have, we need to give a middle ground one. But no, it has to be chuck it or fuck it. Like, Honey Crisp is like the most, in my work, that's everybody buys either Fuji's or Honey Crisps. Yeah, Fuji's can chuck it all day long. Uh, Honey Crisp, I would, I would chuck. It's similar to a pink lady. I love pink lady. I fuck them all you day. You fuck pink ladies. I'll fuck them up. I'll put them in my puss. I love them. That's. Honeycrisp to me is like a milder version because I like that tart sour yeah. punch and it doesn't have that. So I guess I have to say I'd chuck it. But the one you got. Cosmic Crisp. Cosmic oh, Crisp. Oh, that's a banger. Man. That's a banger. That's a red apple and I don't know anything else about it, but I know that I want to put my dick inside of it. I want to and drill a hole in it and I want to fuck oh, it. Oh, Cosmic. Fuck you, Cosmic Crisp. Oh, get in my mouth. Cosmic Crisp. Yeah. I could look it up real quick where the Cosmic Crisp apple comes from. Sure. And then all green apples can be chucked. Those are Granny Smiths, they I call do those. Not, all of them? They, there's another one. I mean, there's got to be something to be said about not making that many green apples. You know, they're always making spinoffs of these red ones, but not with the green ones because, I mean, I don't know. And it's funny because I love tart, but, like, they just don't have flavor to me. Oh, you know what's funny? What? Classically bred and grown in Washington State, the Cosmic Crisp Apple is a cross of the Enterprise and Honeycrisp varieties. The large, juicy is. red apple has a perfectly balanced flavor and firm texture. So it does have, I guess, the crisp of the Honeycrisp, but it has the flavor of the Enterprise. I want to find an Enterprise Star Trek. Let's go. Right? What the? Hmm. F- uh? Jean-Luc Picard is eating them apples. Okay. Um, that's okay. So that's uh, it. Yeah, let's go to the fall guy. Okay, so we just watched the movie The Fall oh, Guy. Oh, but wait. In general, I would fuck with them apples. Fuck with the apples. Yeah. We like apples. I love apples. We like dip. We like letting our apples take a little swim in nut butters. Oh, uh, give like, me that nut on my apple. What else can you put on an apple? I like caramel. Even when I used caramel. to eat cereal. I loved cutting up an apple and like Rice Krispies. They're really? It's so delicious. And apple it, in your cereal. I love it. My mom used to make that all the time. I mean, time. it makes sense because there's flavor, apple flavored cereals. Yeah. Oh my God, apple try Jacks. it. It's so good. You just dice it up real little and you put it in there. I loved Apple Jacks. Yeah. I love apple sauce. I love apple pie. Um, hmm. Yeah, I love apples. Uh, caramel apples. Caramel apples, yes. You ever had a good caramel apple Ooh, from the- caramel. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is caramel? What is the- That's an inside joke. Caramel. Sorry, and we can't go into it, but we love you nuts. So we, we said what's up to everybody, right? I don't think You so. did that. What's up, nuts? Oh, I did, and I tried to remember oh what our God. handles we're, are, and I don't know. We're already in the middle of a segment, and we're now just saying, this is, I couple feel weird. A couple of nuts go, a, co- I was like, a couple of nuts goes driving, a couple of nuts talking, a couple of nuts cooking. You said all that stuff? No, I didn't. You cut me off. I didn't take a uh, magic drink that we magic mind. No, but we the, didn't. But the coffee I'm drinking is kicking in. Can you imagine drinking some magic mind? I was gonna get some of those for us. What magic mics? Yeah, look at you light up. How do you get magic mics? Magic minds, like magic minds, the shots. Oh, I really thought you, you were sick. like magic minds. Look I was at like, me am you... I gonna start being able to dance like them you after look I at take me when it? When you talk about other men. No, but I thought I'd be able to dance like. Look that. at me. Like, y'all hold it. Let's do it. Ride, Ride it, my pony. pony. Let's well, we are going to kind of talk about other men. He totally got off track here. Chuck it or fuck it. We just watched the movie. Fuck men. Fall guy. Oh, fuck fall guy. Because chuck it or fuck it. Um, Rigo. 
also uh, Ryan, Gosling, Ryan Gosling, also known as Rigo in my world. I'm a huge Rigo fan. So charming, although his face does look very injected with little filler, little poofy, puffy, and uh, he's fems. he's losing that that cut, that edge. You know what's interesting? Hmm. I wonder if he's like going for the DiCaprio puff face because. DiCaprio's like a man now, even though he still kind of has a high pitched yeah. voice and he's like a weasel. I mean, he's a man in age, not in behavior. Let's right, be honest. right, and okay. it looks like he's kind of got. He looks like he's fucking been up been, for years. He has. He, you know why? Do you know why he looks like that? Because he dates fucking twenty year olds. Yeah, and they are exhausted. Yeah, what is and he doing? He's lucky he's got so much money because that's all they just go shopping, go do something, and wear something. So we're Great. veering off away from Fall Guy, but I, I want to we'll go back to I it. Wanna, we know yeah. where we're at. So DiCaprio, you know, he played one of my favorite movies, The Aviator, which is about Howard Hughes. The, come in with the milks. The, yeah, come, with come the in milk. with the he milks. Very crazy, kind of not crazy, but he built airplanes and he made movies and he did all this shit, but. He had a uh, OCD. He had yeah, but that's not the thing. What he would do before he would start dating someone, it would there would be like an interview process, and I feel like DiCaprio does that. Oh, all of the big ones do it, like Tom Cruise. I feel like he and sits them. there in a dark room, like they they meet with his people, and then they finally make it to the final interview, and DiCaprio's just sitting there, like his character in The Aviator, in a big dark room. And you just see his silhouette, and the girl comes in. And, and has be, to sign on the dotted line. Oh, my God. Put your cap on. Sign the dotted line. line. Own all you work for. That's a Haunted Air song. Yeah. So, The Fall Guy. What a fun movie. It was fun. What especially f- nowadays where movies just suck ball sacks. Yeah. You notice that? This was action-packed. It was a lot of fun. I feel like Rigo did another one. Similar, not that long I ago. I felt like that too, like almost the Red Man or something like that oh, on Netflix. I don't know. Not too much programming, you know. Like sometimes these movies begin. I don't know. You kept saying, "Oh, and there's the program." I mean, I see it, but I don't think normal people would see it. I mean, I'm now, constantly looking. It <laughs> it becomes my hobby. The slight programming we thought we saw was UFOs. All the trying UFO to normalize placement, it, bring it in, and alien stuff. Deep fake stuff where they oh yeah they film That's the big program they film someone's face and put it on someone else's body committing a crime and they they said several times like well you can't believe what you see now because this is what they could do and I was telling Sean like get ready for a whole bunch of people that you love and like or are in some big office somewhere supposedly having to be important, and we're going to see them in some video that's incriminating them, and then they get to go, oh, remember that movie and the deep fake and the stuff you we programmed in you? you know, now you'll believe like, when I say that's not him and it was a computer generated. They can, I mean, for anybody that uses the Apple <laughs> Face ID, yeah. they can deep fake fucking Everyone, anybody. That's, that's exactly it, Sean. Oh, yeah. My God. Do you know that your phone takes a picture of you like every three seconds I've or two seconds? I've heard of this. You don't see it, but if you were, had a black light, like a. I saw someone set up a light and you could see yeah, like the flash the going flashes. off without seeing mm-hmm. the flash. It is constantly taking a picture. It wants to know where you're looking on your phone, what you're looking at, wh- how you look. It literally has all your voice, all everything about you, all your mannerisms. You're screwed. We're all screwed. If they wanted to do that. I would chuck facial recognition. I would chuck facial recognition. Let's go back to Fall Guy now. Okay. I mean, I guess there's really but we're not still talking much about to Fall talk Guy. about it. It just was a fun movie. Ryan Gosling is... He's very charming. Charming. He's funny. One He's of my favorite... I don't... You have to pick a scene, no. too. But one of my favorite scenes was when he had the megaphone and they were talking back and forth. Yeah. And it's his way of... Being a little more complex because he's both embarrassed, but he's also got to answer these questions. He also still loves it. Like it's just the way he's answering. It's 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 really good. It actually made me chuckle. Yeah, which is right. I remember you chuckling during that. Yeah, and I said that's good. Another reason why I like Rigo. We have very similar physique. No, not we have at similar all. That arms. Part. We have similar bodies. I think if we you must were to do the- deep fake state. Stuff where you put your face on him, yes, you're you're accurate. And I think we have very similar workout regiments. But he does it. You just write yours down in a spiral. No, I just watch him. Oh, okay. Either way. So I feel like watching him. I feel like I have his physique. Yeah. Just by looking at him. Yeah. 
Isn't that crazy? You know what, honey? If you feel it and see it enough, you will have it. That's what I'm saying. So keep it up, but get that feeling more. Feel what it feels like. To I'm looking at myself right down, now. Down uh, your abs, and feel your six or eight pack. That's all I feel right now. Is I know. Fucking so just and, pack. but how does that feel? Knowing you. Oh have God. It. Not to fart. Oh That's not my the God! Feeling. I'm rubbing my stomach and I fart. Oh. <laughs> It's disgusting. You and Luke are the only ones laughing. Oh, my God. Does Luke understand now we're going to say his name all the time? I don't know if he does. He's going to be like our little, our, I was going to say our He might have chewy. even stopped listening by now. Because he, he finally heard his name. Maybe. Well, good. Then let him not know how much we refer to him. He'll miss it. So, Fall Guy. Yeah. Out of 10, where would you? We're already going to that? Oh. Like, we haven't really talked about it, honey. I thought about it. There's no. Nothing else to how say do you, about How it. did you feel about performances by Kate? What What's the other girl? Kate Winslet? Emily Blunt was cute. Emily Blunt. She was cute. I thought in it. Um, she arched her back. Gave us a lot of she ass sits, in it. She sits like Instagram. I did like her little <laughs> outfits she was wearing. Her little yeah, like, yeah, those jumpsuits. Are cute. Yeah. Uh, and I love the other guy, the main actor, Tom Ryder Tom character. Ryder, that kid. Yeah, he was funny. What's his name? Tom Ryder. He was in that uh, bullet train. And that kick-ass movies, yeah. He but he, was we funny. had similar. I have a similar physique to his as well. I love that he was standing there with the robe open. Yeah, yeah. To I keep do moving it, and he was like really scrunched to try and get that six pack going. I'll do the same. Oh, Lee Majors was the is the fall guy, probably the original yeah. guy. His name yeah. is Lee Majors, who we thought was uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson is the kid's name. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, he was funny. I'm trying to think if anything else made he's me laugh. He's really. F- oh my god, he's only 34 years old. They said he's 5'11. They, they say they that all, kid oh is 5'11. Oh my, 5'11. God. You can't. Oh my I can't. god. Watch that movie and then, tell me uh, that he's 5'11. Emily Blunt's fucking 5'10. His wife, you know, he's 34. His wife is 57. Dope. That's right. Um, Craven the Hunter. He's in a new movie. Who called is she Craven. in the industry? This sounds cool. That already Who's came the fifty seven year old in the industry? Um, who got on this job? His wife is named Sam Taylor Johnson, so they have the name. She is a British film director oh. and artist. Her directorial debut was Oh, Nowhere Boy. In th- was he in that? Was he in Nowhere Boy Nowhere Boy? Wow. What? Um, Nowhere Boy was about John Lennon. I never saw that. Oh, he might not be in it. Is it? A oh, that's scripted? him. He, he plays John Lennon. Okay. Here's the so main. wow. That's that's. A, oh, do you think it's it's like a coincidence that I would know that? That came out in two thousand nine. So he was when they met. He was like, yeah. If he's, I'm really bad at math. Wait. He's thirty four. Yeah. Uh. So he he was in born in nineteen. He was nineteen. <gasps> I mean, makes sense to me. It's so Hollywood. Honey, how, I wait, knew so how that old she was had she? to be somebody. How old was she? So it's f- ten. It's four, she's fifty-seven ten now. It went, she it was forty-seven 15. and he was nineteen. Oh my god! Oh no, she was like forty-three and he was nineteen. Oh my god! Whoa, like, but that's okay because he was legal and is British. And they do incest and all that stuff. Yeah. Man, I'm really slamming on the British, British this episode. I like British I, I love you guys, too. Don't get me wrong, mates. I'm just speaking of things that I've seen on the telly. Oh, with crock, the, yeah. With the teeth and the incestual. And I think that has a lot to do with the teeth. I want all the diamonds. Give me all your money. Wow, so she's a little cradle robber. Like um, DiCaprio. Kind of, but also he was like, Mama gonna put me in movies. Oh, God, look at him go now. And then he sucks the teat as Mama puts him in movies. So, I mean, it's, it's it works both ways. It's very interesting because he's kind of a young, hunky guy. Good. It's finally going the other way because it's always the, you know, 16-year-old girls with the 39-year-old directors. Good for him. Yeah. Good for him. Um, so I gave his, his performances. Oh, he's always good. He's funny. He's charming. Mm-hmm. He could be really huge, actually. I'm surprised that he's not. I Are think you I, kidding? He's in Fall Guy, honey. He's in big movies. I mean, but he wasn't like, he was one of the main, but he wasn't like on the screen all the time. Like Bullet Train, he wasn't in it all the time. But whenever he was, I was I always mean, he looking was forward to it. he was in it a lot. It. There was just a little snippet where he wasn't in it. We should watch the Kick-Ass movie with him and Nick Cage where they play like these kind of, uh, these action hero uh, Love me some Nicky Cage. What are those called? Superheroes? Assassins? No. Heroes? Gods? 
Warriors. What's Captain? What's Spider Man called? A superhero. Superhero. So they play like superheroes, but in real the real world. So oh. they like they try to fight crime. Let's watch okay. that today. All right. So Fall, Fall guy, guy, everybody. Okay. Uh, what was your favorite scene? Favorite scene of Fall Guy. Rigo. Probably, oh, I really enjoyed when they gave him that Shirley Temple drink and he was tripping out and like yeah, he like flew the through the train window like and he thought he could stop the car and it just hit him. Yeah. That was funny and I really like the other guy that we were just talking about when it shows like a trailer for a movie he's doing and he's like hammering oh, right. the rock. You did And laugh. he's like, earth, stones, minerals, minerals. Stone. I thought that was really funny. Yeah. I like douchebaggy stuff. Second. Okay. Earth, minerals, stone. Yeah. Yeah, that was funny. I, I mean, to you, I didn't like that. I one. think that overall was, you know, I don't remember much more than that except it was action packed and it was fun and Ryan Gosling it is charming. It also took us a really long time to watch because we stopped it so many. We were doing eight hundred things while we're watching movies. Yeah. That's the thing too, like. Movies are so blah and stupid now that, and by the way, I blame it all on everyone who's running the business. So hopefully they finally have to like be downgraded and like now I'm not in the business like that anymore the way I was before where I'd be nervous to say this, but like they all suck. They're all scared and they all do whatever someone's telling. It's all about programming. Yeah. It's all about agenda. It's never about the art. I'm the telling Crow you guys, I'm telling you guys, out. if you want art to change and you want movies and TV to go back when it was like actually good, then start giving money, donating to these people like myself, making independent stuff that's actually funny and entertaining instead of continually giving these streamers money and these stupid networks that all they do is put out the same crap. Preach. I just, I can't anymore. It's garbage. Preach. And the fact that these people, by the way, get paid millions of dollars of your dollars because you're still using all of these things. So we do too because we're bored and we're like, oh, let's get one. Yeah, The Fall Guy is just a remake of a show. Yeah. Like it's a there, remake. It's all remakes constantly, you guys. That's all it is. And there are people like me and other people I know who come up with some really great ideas, original ideas. Yeah. And it's like the nirvana of television and all of them are afraid. You They're know, all that, afraid. That kid that was in Aaron Taylor, who I liked a lot, he was also in another movie called Nocturnal Animals. Do you remember that I one? I do remember that name. Tell me what it's about. Jake Gyllenhaal, Amy Adams, directed by what the designer, Tom Ford, directed it. Nocturnal Animals, a successful Los Angeles art gallery owner's idyllic life, is marred by the constant traveling of her handsome second husband. While he's away, she is shaken by the arrival of a manuscript written by her first husband who she has not seen in years. I don't remember. It was fucking, we should watch it again. Okay, because I don't remember. It's dark. It was, I'd probably remember as I'm oh, watching Oh, I just remember it being really brutal, dark, and really? kind of violent. Yeah, it was oh, very, I love it. it was very like David Lynch, but much more contained and like straight. Tom Ford fucking killed it. Yeah. How he's not making more movies, I don't know. That movie, I've tell people about that movie all the time but the fall guy what would you give it one through ten mm, i it's funny i want to give it high scores because of ryan and that guy aaron and aaron but it still was like a very remember i told you exactly what was going to happen in the movie within three minutes oh, i was very predictable like it's so formula and it boring you're watching for rigo's charm right that's and the body. So, and his body. What? <laughs> what? You got something else to say? <laughs> what? Why are you watching for Ryan's body? Because it looks like mine. I feel like I'm looking in a mirror. Whenever I watch a Ryan Gosling film, I feel like I'm literally watching myself on the screen. You look nothing like him. And he's got a great band, Dead Man's Bones. Talented. Oh, Dead Man's Bones. I Come love. on, Ryan. But why isn't he writing more and going out more? Like One what? and done. Oh, my God. Do you know how much Haunted Air? Would be, be amazing to open for them. One How do we done. get a hold of Ryan? If anybody out there is friends with Ryan, cousins with Ryan, works with Ryan, or the other guy in the band, actually. Oh yeah, other guy. One other guy. Actually, let me look into that. Okay. Anyways. Oh my God, guys. Rate. This is gonna happen. Rate the movie. Correct. So, it's, okay. So I'm basically just rating Ryan Ryan Gosling. Um. Then I'm I'm gonna move the dial up because 
he is, you know, he's one of the topsies. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I'll give it a 7.3. Oh, that's good. It is good because I actually watched the whole movie. That's, that's a solid so rating. for me. That, no, that's a solid that's a solid rating. Like if we were doing pizza, that would be solid. That's solid. I I was in the probably six point nine. That's I was. It was 6. between six point five yeah. and then six, and then the more I thought about Rigo and how right. much we look alike, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna give him a little more. Six point nine. Okay, because I started at a six point five, but then when you were like, mm, it's mostly because of Ryan, I was like, all right, I'll get more because he didn't yeah. carry that whole thing. So we would both fuck the shit, shit out, out of the fall guy. Fall guy. Fall on his dick. Okay. Guy. Let me do that uh -huh. the theme song. Chuck it or fuck uh. it. Chuck it or fuck it. Review time. Review time. Oh. Like it or don't like it. There it was. Oh man, fall Chuck on that it. dick make my nuts quake. Fall guy. Good one, honey. You said that already before. I know, and the I told you. You t he told me to stop, and then I couldn't. I had to say it one more time. Uh, okay. Um, what do you got to talk about? Well, I mean, I just literally talked for nope. the last half hour. No, nope. I so brought up apples, and I brought up fall guy. I <coughs> I see these ads on my phone, Instagrams, all this bullshit for like shirts, and I ordered a couple shirts from this company called Manly Shirts because. The ads got me because they got these dudes, gray-haired guys, gray beards, similar body build, buff bodies like Rigo, and they're modeling these like deep Vs with the pockets. I'm like, that's fucking perfect. That's you. That's exactly what I want. And then when I get the shirt and I put it on, I don't look like those no. guys. Mm -mm. Like my gut, kind it kind of accents my belly. Mm-hmm. Um, They're basically saying you have to look like those guys to look good in 100%. these shirts. 100%. Yeah. And not only that. They like cling. So, and I, and I hate that I even said the name. It is called Manly. Why are you giving it again? Sure, it's because I'm giving it a horrible review. Oh, got you. They fucking suck. And yeah. the shirts were like $38 a piece. Are those the ones that piece. get the little balls So they bought it? the material balls up and like hair gets caught through it. Oh, yeah, it? and you guys are manly. You have hair on your body. How is the hair going through the shirt and then like I try to pull it out and it like knots up through it? It's the Sometimes most... Sometimes you were in like a elevator or something and I'd look at you yeah. and his chest hair would be coming out of the shirt. Yeah, I've never seen anything like it. Not only that, but then like loose hair, like your yeah, hair. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. But or my long hair would be somehow stab entangled. its way through the shirt and then I'd have to like pull it out. And it's the itchiest fucking yeah, material. Yeah, the fabric looks awful. And I, oh shit, we should have done a chuck it or fuck it or manly shirt because I would. Ch it's a fucking well, negative why don't we ten. Just, this should have just been a chuck it or fuck it, it episode. Kept going, but it's so we can still, honey. We're running the show, so we're back. We didn't end that that segment. Hold on a second. Chuck it or fuck uh, it. Chuck it or fuck it. So back it, yeah, chuck it or fuck it. Still, again, as you can yeah. see, folks, I would chuck the shit out of manlyshirts.com. Worst shirt I ever fucking owned. Ever. Yeah. Itchy. I, I like the cut. I like the solid pocket that it has. Everything else about it is trash. The black one did look nice, though. I remember we went out to dinner with a couple friends, and I said, yeah, I got this Why don't we just shirt. take that shirt and have... And pick out fabric you like and have someone make it to exactly the cut. Yeah, they made it seem like it was the softest, best fucking fabric Honey, ever. that's what these commercials do. They get me. How many I times see did you watch them before you bought it? It's not a commercial. It's, it's pictures. Right, the Instagram ad. How many times did well, you see here's, it? Well, here's what usually happens. No, how many times did you see it? I'm going to tell you. This okay. is part of it. An ad pops up. Mm -hmm. I see it. I'm like, hmm. Okay. Scroll, right. scroll. Pops up again. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. okay, 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 okay. Third time, I hit the shop now button. Mm -hmm. And I go into it? the shop. I start looking at the stuff. I look at the prices and I'm like, no way, no way. And then because I hit the shop now button, it's coming up way more often in my feed. So I'm like, fuck it. Okay, I'm going to treat myself. What am I fucking doing? Yeah. I always do that. I see stuff that I want to get. I never get it. So now what I do is I, I just get stuff that I want. And like, and then I put it in the basket. I put stuff in my basket. I see the total and I'm like, no. But then it says, put more in and get free shipping. Ah, oh so I'm boy. like, fuck. Okay. So then I put, then I do it. Ugh, and then I order it. So it was, you know, five or six times and it got me. Right. And then I'm, I'm saying this uh, nuts because we're, we have a business. And by the way, we have 
beautiful shirts. Oh, we do. We have a new shirt called, it's soft style. Oh and my it God, is, Bella Canvas? It is so, no, it's, I don't think it's Bella Canvas. Uh, no. I thought it was. No, I think it's Gildan. Um, but Softest material. It is so silky soft, like you're going to want to sleep in it. Cutest okay? spooky little designs on it. We have ho- vintage Halloween shirts. We have our haunted air shirt. Haunted air band shirt. I'm gonna make an, a a couple of nuts shirt if you want that. Oh shoot! But all lots of Halloween. But we're we are the brand that's bringing holiday every. I mean Halloween every day. Yeah. Not just on the holiday. That's it. So come check it out. It's Cryptiques Vintage. So C R Y P T I Q U E S. Honey, we've talked about our business many vintage. times. Vintage. V I N T A G E dot my Shopify dot com. Come look. Honey, when you have a business, you must let people know. I guess hold you can on. Say, uh, hold on. Uh, I'm not done because this is this was my point. Is we have a business and I told him we gotta do ads. No one's gonna know us except for the five people who know us. And he was like, Okay, and he ran one ad one time. And he was like, How come that didn't work out as good as it should and That's i not said true i said yes it is and i said honey people have to see the ads like five or six times before they trust it and then that's why I just set him up in his own fucking funny business because I said, how many times did you see that ad before you actually yeah, bought it? See, the thing and is, it was five times. The thing is, is that you, you're not telling the truth. Yeah, I am. Because why would when you we that? run ads, we run them for days. It doesn't mean the same once. They're only going to see it per ad campaign once. Otherwise, okay. it's terrible for the ad. But please take that back because I'm not lying. OK, take it back. Why do you keep doing that? I no, said, it's I, incriminating. I, it's like, I it's mean, not okay. Nobody thinks you're a criminal or a liar, okay? Nobody. Not one person. I didn't say a criminal. Except for your mom. What about my mom? She thinks I'm a liar? I think she does. What? About what? I don't know. I just get that vibe from her. Oh, my God. I can't with you. <laughs> I didn't know what to say, so I said mom. So I said mom. Okay. Honey, stop. But you're getting me a look. I'm turning real, all red yeah, right now. Yeah, because what are you it's doing? not nice. And the only liar okay, in the I'm room is around. calling other people liars. Oh, wow. You call me a liar. I mean, honey, you're a drug addict. I am a liar. Okay. <sighs> so we chucked and fucked. We chucked and fucked that what shit. What else can we chuck and fuck? I Honestly, I think that's enough chucking and fucking for the day. I oh, really? We're done? That's a wrap. This was a lot of fun, wasn't it? I think if we chucked or fucked our cats, we would fuck the shit out of our cats. I'd fuck them every day. Mm-hmm. Okay, now it's again. See, we didn't really think that theme through. Like, we didn't think that segment through when we named it. I guess we didn't. Yeah, because if we ever put, like, babies on the table or something. Why would we ever fuck a baby? I don't know. Ever. We chuck that stuff. Every baby gets chucked. Every baby. Every single one of them. Okay, good. But there's going to be times where it's in a book. Like, we're going to, like, when I put mom on the table. Yeah. You know what we have to do to mom? God, fuck her. We got to fuck mom. <laughs> well, I, we did that segment, remember? Would you rather Would you rather suck your dad's dick or go down on your mom? That's very different. I'm saying, though, we're doing chuck it or fuck it. That was a different segment. We didn't think it through that the things we love, we also have to fuck. Yeah, but I fuck mom every time. Yeah, of course. So. Right. You know what I mean, though? But maybe people at home, if they're coming in out of context, they're going to be like, what is this Yeah. stuff we're yeah. talking about? It's not literal fucking. No, no. It's like you fuck with it. Yeah, I fuck with it. I fuck with it. I stand on business with it. Yeah, yeah, I'll do any kind of business with my business pan. Okay. All right, good. We're done. Let's just be done. I'm hungry. Oh, yeah, let's go eat something. Well, um, till next time, nuts, review us. You know, you follow us, share it. You're probably following we're not doing anything. Let's be honest. We're not doing a. anything. Well, like, what does it take to just write a fucking five word review? <laughs> like, just go on there and go say, to I chat like this GPT. show. Go to chat GPT. Go to chat GPT. Have fucking and write it for you guys. I like in, this show. <laughs> five stars. Type in how to write a, an amazing review about a couple of nuts. It's really and crazy. Let it write it. Like, we have fucking. Ugh. What do we got to do? I don't know. Tell do us. We have to fu- do we have to chuck or fuck, fuck you? Do we have to fuck you? Or, like, what? Should we chuck our fuck our list? No, we'll fuck all our listeners. Every fucking last no, third No, but you know you. what we'll do to the ones who review us, like us, subscribe, and share us? You know what we'll do? What? 
We're fucking good. Oh. Yeah. I'll last a little longer for you. Oh, man, guys. That's. Here we go. You have a full calendar. I'll give you at least five pumps. <laughs> five pumps? Yeah. Five yeah. full pumps. Uh, four and a half. Because uh, when you're that last half is four, you and your four, favorite part. Four. Yeah, the last four, half four. of that that four. When is, I'm at two and a half, yeah, I'm already done. I'm pretty. You're in much, your favorite part. Yeah. Favorite I'm part. in my favorite part at two. <laughs> yeah. In out. In, in out. out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, nuts. Stay nutty, everybody. Bye for now. Campses. Bethany, Bethany, and Sean, and Sean, we are a couple of nuts, talking